Hello, yep. this is an update on the Fisher Reproductive Denbox Study. Fisher require large diameter trees with heart rot cavities for reproduction. Suitable trees are rare in managed landscapes. This study is seeking to determine if artificial den boxes will be used by Fisher to give birth to and raise their young. If you haven't already seen it, check out our first video on this project. It's got a lot of great footage on Fisher's and other wildlife. In April 2015, we had two female fishers use den boxes to give birth to and raise kids. This female, who we have called Debbie, is vocalizing with a large male fisher that is courting her. Fisher breed within 7 to 10 days of giving birth, but the egg does not implant in the uterus until the following February. This process is called delayed implantation and is common in weasels and bears. Once the egg implants, there will be a 30-day gestation period before an average of two kids are born. This male has been hanging around the den box since shortly after Debbie started using it. I don't think she's quite ready for a suitor yet. At birth, fisher kits are blind, deaf, and have only a sparse covering of hair. The kits will stay in the den for about eight weeks until they begin to eat solid food. Fisher often move their kits between dens, and this young mother is moving her solitary kit to a new location. Approximately two months later, Debbie brought her kit back to the den box and stayed again for a few days. Fisher kits will stay with her mother until at least the fall, when they generally disperse to find a territory of their own. After this visit, Debbie and her kit were not seen again. Adult female survival is approximately 80% from year to year. Kits have a much tougher go of it, with up to 50% dying in their first year. We are waiting on DNA evidence to see if these fish are returned in 2016. So those were the results from the 2015 reproductive season. We've been monitoring the den boxes all this winter, and we think we have a few identified where fish are showing interest. Check back with us this summer at our video channel and uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos for you.